Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some major news involving Rockefeller Records co-founder Dame Dash. His stake in the legendary label is set to be auctioned off later this month. And there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. If you want to stay updated with all the latest in the music industry, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So let's get into it. Dame Dash's 33.3% interest in Rockefeller Records is going to be sold at a public auction in New York City on August 29th. This sale is happening because Dame owes $823,000 to movie producer Josh Weber for copyright infringement and defamation over the 2016 film Dear Frank. The U.S. Marshal will oversee the auction. And while this might sound like a golden opportunity to own a piece of music history, there's a big catch, according to TMZ. The winning bidder will only be a minority owner. They won't have any official say in the company's decisions because it requires a majority vote to make changes. And it gets even trickier. The new owner would only make money from their shares for a limited time. There's an expiration date on the master ownership for the company, meaning the revenue and assets won't last forever. Earlier this year, a judge ordered Dame to sell his shares to cover his debt. Both Jay-Z and Kareem Biggs Burke objected, citing company bylaws that require board approval for any sale of shares. However, U.S. Magistrate Robert W. Learberger ruled that Dame's one-third ownership can be seized since it's his personal property. Learberger criticized Jay and Biggs for creating a no-sell clause during a 2021 board meeting that Dame didn't attend. He ordered Rockefeller to deliver Dame's stock certificate to the U.S. Marshals Service for the auction. To put it in perspective, let's think about it like owning a classic car with a group of friends. Even if you own a third of it, you can't make decisions without their agreement, and the car's value is depreciating over time. And just like that car, the value of Rockefeller's assets has a ticking clock. In summary, while the idea of owning a piece of Rockefeller Records might sound appealing, the reality is filled with legal and financial complications. What do you think about this whole situation? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.